victory. He did shoot a five under 67 on Sunday at a major to win, but helped, of course, by Jordan Spieth's collapse on the back nine. For further perspective into Spieth's mindset during his Masters meltdown, here with me in the studio is sports psychologist and author Stephen Sylvester. Thank you very much for coming now, uh, coming in. Now, Stephen, you've worked with a major winner. How do you explain this sort of collapse that Spieth went through? Well, it's as you're approaching the finishing line, you get very, very tense because you start processing the thought about winning whilst also press, processing the thought about losing. So that win-lose mindset makes you anxious, brings in anxiety, and as a result of that, your fine skills get affected. So that's straightforward. How much is it going to affect him moving forward and his performance? Yeah, I think he's got a good support team around him. I think he's such a, a magnificent young player. He's already won two majors. So I think he will bounce back very well from this with the right support. If he can get away from the selfish endeavour of trying to be that winner and win at all costs and just relax a bit and get back to what he did when he won the first two majors, then I think he'll be fine. Easier said than done, though. Easier said than done, but he works hard, he's got a strong work ethic, he's got a strong support structure, a strong family, and I think if he puts it in perspective, he will realise it's been part of something really big, where the world was captivated by the, the in intrigue. Yeah. Uh, made so much worse, of course, by the ceremony of the Masters, of having to hand that jacket, not once, not twice, but three times yeah. to the winner, of course, Danny Willett. How much do you think that will affect him? Very painful indeed, especially <laughs> yeah. when that's all you want to do is win. But I think there's something remarkable about this young man. Mm. He is quite ambassadorial about the way he approaches the sport and he realises that he's been part of something bigger and that he has a duty to the game and especially to the patrons of Augusta and just to the nature of the sport and what the, the, the green jacket represents is something much, much more purposeful than just him. So I think whilst he's disappointed and completely upset and in pain, he also will take time to realise how important he's been in, as a custodian of the game. How would you, what advice would you give Jordan Spieth? And can he come back stronger from this, do you he think? He definitely can come back stronger. The three points I would give him is, firstly, the win-lose expectation. You yeah. cannot afford, particularly in golf, where it's a closed skill, there's lots of internal dialogue, to think about the winning line. You've got to concentrate on a completely different mindset. So that's the first thing. Lower the expectation and just enjoy the ball strike, a bit like Willett did. Just enjoy being out there and striking the ball and enjoying it. That's the first thing. The second thing is you've got to embrace your errors a little bit more. He got a little bit tense, a little bit agitated about the mistakes he was making. And then the third thing is he's got to become more aware of the, his emotional state and his mood whilst he's going through it because it was too late. He had actually got affected by the stress before he could make a correction. And just quickly, a yeah. word about Willett, the yeah. champion. How much do you think it helped him playing with fellow countryman and friend Lee Westwood? Massive. I mean, Lee's got all the experience under the world. They would, they would have played lots together. It would have been fantastic for him to be with, with Lee and just relaxing and feeling like he's playing at his local club course and just enjoying the outing. And actually, he had perspective. He just knew, knew father. And, you know, it just when you're doing it for more than just yourself, mm. it helps you to be less selfish under stress and you can enjoy it. He was bouncing up the final fairway. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us, Stephen. I have a feeling space is going to be just fine. We'll have more on that and the Masters later on in the show. All the days of football news is next right here on CNN World Sport.